Hi, this is Jim's Little Boat. I'm Jim, and I'm tired of dealing with this porta potty. We didn't use it at all last year. It's kind of dirty. I'm just cleaning it up and getting ready to put it back in the boat. I was thinking, there's really got to be a better way. I think I'll go look in the tech manual for Catalina 22 and see what we can come up with. After I decided I was fed up with the porta potty, I went back and looked at Liz McCafferty's great little video. She does really swell videos. This one's about the inside of her cabin and particularly the way they got rid of their porta potty. In the middle of this video, Liz shows us their porta potty replacement. It's a bucket with a toilet seat, and they reference an article by Lewis and Jean Plassance, which is found on page 111 of the 2014 tech manual. So I went back and looked at that. The Plassance design sits a little lower than the uh, design used by the McCafferty's. I decided to go with the McCaffrey design, but I certainly read this article. And you notice the uh, Plaisance version has a wonderful little cover that hides the whole potty altogether. Well, to kind of catch up on where we are, I got this luggable loo. It's basically a five gallon bucket with special plastic bags to hold human waste. And then you add some gel. And I uh, took that and found out the diameter I would need to make it fit. Then I made a template of the area where the porta potty used to sit, including the circle. Then I cut the template out of plywood. And right now I'm in the process of routing a nice, neat hole in the center of this plywood. Now you don't have to do it this way with a router. You could uh, make the circle and do it with a jigsaw but I have the router and it's fast and easy and makes a nice clean hole, so I'm gonna do it that way. Well, that is a pretty dang good fit. I just need to cut out a little relief for these lugs on each side and I think we'll have that part done. That seems like a pretty good fit. I think I'll go ahead and add a reinforcing bar along that edge. It'll almost be done. We'll glue that up tonight, and tomorrow we'll go test fit it again. I'm pretty sure it will fit, and then we will put some finish on it, and we will have a new loo. That rhymes. Well, as it turns out, I wasn't paying enough attention, and I put the reinforcing bar on the wrong side, but it's not a problem, because the toilet seat sits up higher, and the real advantage here is that this is much higher than the old porta potty, which is a real plus for older folks. I just screwed it down tight. It really only took three screws. It's very sturdy. This uh, position works perfect if you're five seven, five eight. I don't know. If I were in the six foot range, I'd probably move the bracket so that the bucket was down another inch or two. But We'll give this a try for this summer. It wouldn't be very hard to make another one if I want to change it.